Right, Rick. Right. On our last walk before we uh, set off on the main 127 miles, how are you feeling today? Um, not too bad actually, yeah, a bit, um, a bit rough on the feet this morning for the first, I think we've covered about 10 miles already, is it? Yeah, about a little 10. bit more. So you got... yeah, my feet seem to be giving me a bit of, bit of jip this morning, so... Have you got any other sore places? Uh, not at the moment, I don't think, no, no. <laughs> Possibly a little, little bit of chafing inside the shorts going on there, but not too bad at the moment, bearable. I don't think I want to put that in the video. <laughs> what got you um, involved and made you decide that you wanted to join Al on his 127 miles? Um, well, being involved, I suppose, um, wasn't, really a, wasn't really any sort of decision to be made, really. It was just one of those things, you know, it was discussed months ago, you know, the possibility of doing a walk um, along the canal. And um, you know the idea sort of didn't really didn't really fizzle out, but it wasn't talked about for a while, and then you know sort of the issue got raised again, and you know we, we were all pretty serious about doing it. Um, and uh, have you had much support from your family and friends? From my family and friends, yeah, they've been really good actually. Yeah, I mean uh, my wife's been really understanding. You know she's been great as Jane because you know obviously. Um, having to dedicate yourself to a walk like this, it, it requires a lot, of, a lot of practice and dedication to sort of build yourself up ready for that big walk. So she's put in a lot of extra hours, of, you know, looking after the kids and stuff by herself, and you know, sacrificed family time at weekends and things like that. You know, we might have taken the kids out for the day here and there, and you know, we've gone for a walk with the lads instead or a training session or something. So yeah. Which, what should been the hardest, the blisters, your bad hip, or walking behind Andy's flatulence? <laughs> Well, flatulence has been a bit of an issue today, as we we're both well aware of, Mike. You know, yeah. Andy's been uh, Andy's been like a, a one-man marching band in front of us, I think, most yeah. of the day. But no, blisters haven't been too much of an issue for me. I've only had a couple of small blisters. I've been really lucky with my feet so far. Yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't been lucky walking behind Andy today. No. He's not having baked beans when we come by here <laughs> again at that cafe. Anyway, I'll I'll cut it short there. And okay. uh, thanks a lot, Rick. No worries. Cheers.